Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. All right, so we already covered the other half of the new generation Harley Benton EXs. Those are the EX84 Moderns in black and aged white with active pickups. So this is the other more classic entry in the new EX series, the EX76 in natural. So obviously there's a lot that's the same, but there are also some key differences. Which one should you get? Let's take a closer look. Before we get into it, full disclosure, Harley Benton does have me on retainer to design a certain number of specialty projects, including these EXs. I don't get a percentage or anything in the model sold, I'm just really happy with how these came out, so that's why I'm making this video. So yeah, I might be a little biased because I was very close to this project, and I just wanted to be upfront about that. Okay, that out of the way, let's get into it. Alright, so for specs, almost the same as the modern. Mahogany body, set through mahogany neck. Instead of an ebony fingerboard, we've got amaranth, which is a sustainable alternative to rosewood. We went with amaranth because we thought with this finish, it made sense to give the guitar a more traditional look and feel. And that's exactly what amaranth does. It's got the same kind of color and like open grain feel to rosewood, as opposed to the super hard and smooth feel of ebony. Same slightly smaller E-type body as the 84, so you still get that classic EX look without a giant corner sticking up near your arm. Then we've got a belly carve, so it's more comfortable against the body when you're sitting down. Set through neck joint, so that's awesome for upper fret access, especially on a guitar that's more traditionally focused. It's awesome to have that kind of modern playability feature. The chunky neck, 22 jumbo frets, and very rounded fingerboard edges feel awesome. I mean, the fretwork on on this is just unreal for a $350 guitar. However, I do have to tell you this is the final pre-production prototype, not actually one of the production models, but nothing's changed from this to the production models, and if it's anything like the rest of the middle and higher level Harley Bentons that I've had on the channel recently, it'll be pretty much like this. And then I cannot express how good one, rounded fingerboard edges are for comfort, and two, how particularly well done they are here. This isn't a rush job, it's not just a box ticked. This level of roundness is what you find on a guitar twice or even three times the price. And it's not just the fretwork that's a level above what you normally get for 350. It's also the feature set. Korean WSC Tunematic and Stop Bar Tailpiece combo feels solid. Graftech Nut Self Lubrication from the Nut Masters, great. Grover Locking Rotomatic Tuners, 
Hell yeah. We've included everything we felt was important to keep this guitar in tune and fun to play. So with the EX84s, there were the active Roswell pickups. I'll be honest, if you haven't seen that video, spoiler, those were the weirdest active pickups that I've ever tried. These meanwhile are your more standard Roswell Alnico 5 humbuckers. I've had them on the channel a lot. I've done a ton of Harley Benton videos. So if you watch my channel often, you definitely heard them before, but it's always useful to hear the isolated tones using the same signal chain as the guitars in the demo track. So through the Marshall DSL 100H, here's what the guitar sounds like, and I'll compare it with the EX84s, so that way you can hear the difference. So yeah, these are your bog standard Roswell pickups. They're super middle of the road. They're not amazing, at least for what I play, but they don't sound bad. They do a job for everything, whether you're using a lot of gain or less. All right, so even though the EX84 and the EX76 are two distinct flavors, the general theme is basically the same. The only real differences are the fingerboard materials, the pickups, and the looks. And now that I'm saying that out loud, that sounds like a lot, but it's actually not. Same weight, same scale length, neck shape, fret size, etc. They feel very similar to play. And to be real with you, that was the idea. All too often, the quote unquote modern guitar advancements, especially on the affordable side of things, are left to only the metal focused guitars. And I mentioned that point before in my Michael Kelly 63 OP video, but like, I just don't understand it. Like, how come for the most part, it needs to be a quote unquote metal guitar to get things like locking tuners or a set through neck joint. Locking tuners and better upper fret access is convenient to every guitar player, whether you play metal or not. So that was kind of the thinking behind this EX76. This is a classic shape with traditional looks and sensibilities, but with modern features for the modern player, regardless of genre. But if you want to play metal, of course you can definitely do that. And for the price, Grover locking tuners and Graftech nut, it's a great mod platform 
for your favorite chuggy pickups. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. These are of course just my opinions and I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe and hit the notifications if you haven't already. Thanks to Harley Benton for the opportunity and to Luke for mixing everything. Also to John for editing. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome and I'll see you for the next video.